Hello everyone, welcome to ecomhari.com. This is Hardik Patel and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the privacy policy page and shipping policy page using WooCommerce and ChangeBT. So let's get started. Here I am on the admin panel and if you see here on under the pages, I see lots of pages have been created, but I, d I don't see any privacy policy. So you can create a new page from here, add new and give a name privacy policy. Okay, and then you can write down your privacy policy or what you can do is you can use WooCommerce basic functionality. So go to settings, under the settings, go to privacy. Okay, and here on the privacy settings, you can, if you have privacy policy page already created, you can select from here and assign the privacy policy page from here. If you haven't created yet, what you can do is create a new privacy policy page simply click create button and that way WooCommerce will create the default basic privacy policy page although this is not accurate and you may require to fix a lot of things here so I will show you how to create a really good privacy policy page information from the chat GPT so let's go to chat GPT and if you don't know how to access chat GPT function from here, you simply type in chat.openai.com in URL and then enter. Once you enter that, uh, it will ask you to sign up or log in. Once you log in, you can access this page. So once you're here, you can type in anything to chat GPT and it will answer you back. Let me expand it. So side panel, you can either expand or minimize. If you want to add a new chat, simply click on new chat button. It will create blank chat right down here. Say, please create a privacy policy page for my e-commerce. Although if you make spelling mistake, doesn't matter, but I'd rather fix it up. E-commerce website www.eignitlexpert.com. Uh, Instead of ignitionexpert.com, you can write your own website. After giving a prompt, after giving a basic information on the uh, chat GPT, once you enter, it will start creating the privacy policy according to the information you provided. So you can see here it started writing the privacy policy and it will try to cover all the required information. So sometimes it happens it stops writing the information. So what you have to do is simply click continue generating and it will start from wherever it is left. Okay, so it has created nice privacy policy. What you have to do is you have to fix few things. Um, so here you see email address is required, phone number is required. So what you can do is simply copy here. So copy this privacy policy, open new tab and open docs. So once you open the docs, create a new doc file or blank file and you paste the policy here. Okay. The reason I'm pasting here rather than directly on the page is because I want to fix the formatting so privacy policy for ignition expert i don't need this information okay effective date you can write the effective date if you want to so let me put the date okay this is the better uh, formatting for the date so any country visitors would know which date it is rather than writing 1723 or 7123 because it can be confusing. Uh, you can highlight, uh, so ignitionexpert.com, you can highlight the website name, okay? Now this thing you can uh, create, so instead of normal text, you can create the H2 text if you want to, okay? And same way, create H2, okay, number three, Create H2. So you can either click Control Alt 2 or you can go to H2 or Styles option. Create H2. Control Alt 2. Same with this. Control Alt 2. And here I would enter the email address. 
phone number if you like to add you can always add if you have company phone number okay or whatever number you have okay and date if you again put the date here now once the information is fixed make sure you read each and every sentences each and every words and make sure you correct them according to the policy requirement for your website do not rely on chat gpt so once you read each and every things on this privacy policy once you are happy what you have to do is select all okay then copy and then go back to your privacy policy page website uh, website page and here you need to remove all this information created by WooCommerce. Simply delete. And here I would control V. Okay. So you can see the formatting is so nice now. It is H2, 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 and all this information like highlight and everything is done correctly the way you want it. This part effective date, I would rather select to align text to right. Okay. So the effective date would be on the right hand side now once you are happy with the privacy policy once you want to publish it before you publish what you can do is select preview button okay so once you select preview in new tab and it will open the preview page where you can see your privacy policy so this is the privacy policy page your customers will read or have a look at the privacy policy like this okay and if you think like it looks good you simply go back and publish now second part is shipping policy so how are we gonna create the shipping policy using chat GPD let's get started before I go further I would highly suggest you to check out this link here it is the shipping policy settings in WooCommerce that will make you amazed because there are a lot of hidden features I have explained so make sure to check it out or check the link given in the description below now let me go to the admin area and go to all pages okay and here I see the shipping policy is missing okay so what I do is simply add new and here I would write shipping policy okay now here we have to write down the shipping policy so go to let me close this one go to chat GPT and now write a prompt to chat gpt write me a shipping policy for nationexpert.com my support email is support at expert.com okay shift enter it will go to the new line now you have you write down um i ship items australia wide free shipping option is available on all items shipped within australia in your case it could be your country and in your case if you don't provide free shipping option you would not add this sentence now if you provide the express shipping you can also add express shipping is available for nine dollars extra within australia in your case could be different countries if you are selling to multiple countries you always give the country names into the prompt also if you are having different shipping policy you provide more information to this prompt so let's go further shift enter the order processing time is one two three business days free shipping delivery time four to ten business days express shipping time delivery time two to four business days also i shipped items to new zealand for extra cost mention for product wise extra cost product wise extra cost customer can check out the shipping cost 
to New Zealand at cart and checkout page. Shift enter. Shipping time to New Zealand is 5 to 15 business days. In your case, whatever business days you think it would take, you can write it down here. If you need to add anything else, you can always add. But I think this is the basic information you will require to give to ChatGPT to create the shipping policy. So let's enter and see whether ChatGPT started creating the shipping policy. You can see now it has started creating shipping destination. So we currently ship item to Australia and New Zealand. So it's it, ChatGPT would know which countries you are shipping to only those countries ChatGPT will mention into the shipping destination. You see the shipping policy is created now. ChatGPT has also added the business days, free shipping time and express shipping time for Australia. And for New Zealand, it has included five to 15 days delivery time. Now you can see here, if you go down, so once order has been shipped, so it has also uh, provided the tracking order information and support email. So delivery issue and returns, it hasn't mentioned anything else, but that's again, if you want to create the return policy, you can always add the link here for the customers to check out the return policy. Once you are happy with the shipping policy, you can always copy and go to the Google Docs and then paste it there. Once you paste it, simply change the date. I don't need this one. By the way, you can change it to right hand side. Control Alt 2. Make sure you thoroughly read the shipping policy created by ChatGPT and make the relevant changes you need. Okay. Once you are happy after reading the shipping policy, simply Control A, Control C, and go back to your WordPress shipping policy page, which is right now it's blank. Simply paste the details there and then you can preview the page and you can see the information is there. By the way, I would like to add one more thing here. So tracking your order. Orders can be tracked at this link and I would like to add the tracking link. So in my case, the tracking link is forward slash T-R-A-C-K or the E-R. In your case, it could be different link. So make sure you check it out. So once you added the tracking link, everything looks good, simply publish. And that's it. So that's how you created the privacy policy page and shipping policy page. Similar way, you can also create the return policy page and other pages using the chat GPT prompts. Hope you like watching this video guys. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, please comment me in comment box below. Also I have a question for you. Do you think I forgot anything to write in the prompt in chat GPT? Please comment me in comment box below so I can create better shipping policy and privacy policy. Also it will help other viewers as well. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Please thumbs up. Hope you learned something new today. Please subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and hit the bell icon so you will not miss any future updates. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.